Hi viewers, I welcome you all to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. This is Mohammed Niyas with you. In this video, you are going to watch about receive connectors, what are the receive connectors comes in exchange, how it is related to mail flow, and finally a demonstration on how to configure a receive connector in exchange 2016. Exchange server receive different type of SMTP connections. It receive connections from S channel servers. It receive connections from exchange servers in the same organization. And also it receive connections from printer or scanner to send authenticated SMTP messages. So there are different type of connections come to an exchange and a receive connector is the one which control this inbound SMTP connection in an exchange server. Following are the settings available in a receive connector to control and configure incoming connections in an exchange server. The first one is local adapter binding. By default exchange server listen to all the network adapters in an exchange server. In an exchange server, there will be multiple adapters like one for backup, one for internet, one for local connections. So if you, if you want to isolate this, you can create two receive connectors and you can bind these receive connectors with the specific adapters, one for local SMTP connection and one for internet SMTP connections. The second one is remote network settings. Here you can configure the source IP address for incoming connections. In this case, for example, if you have a scanner which use your exchange server to send email, you can configure the IP address of the scanner in the receive connector. By that way, the receive connector will listen to that specific IP only. The other things are authentication mechanism and permission group. We will discuss this in very detail during the demonstration. Before we dive into receive connectors in detail, I would like to give you a quick refresh on how mail flow works in exchange server. There are three services handle mail flow in exchange server. Front end transport service, transport service and mailbox transport service. Front end transport service is responsible for accepting external SMTP connections in exchange server. It proxy the external SMTP messages to transport service. Transport service will process these messages like anti-spam inspection, anti-malware inspection, categorization. After all this process, this message transfer to mailbox transport service. Mailbox transport service will save this message into local mailbox database. Mailbox transport service also retrieve messages from mailbox and transfer to transport service for external sending emails. So we have three different services which accept SMTP connections at different state of mail flow. Following are the five receive connectors created in Exchange once you set up Exchange Server 2016. When you go to Exchange Admin Center, you will see these five default receive connectors created after you set up Exchange Server. We will go through each receive connectors in detail. Let us take the first one, Client Front End Receive Connector. Client Front End Receive Connector is a Front End Transport Service Receive Connector which accepts secure TLS connection on port 587. It is used for IMAP and POP3 client connection. So an exchange server listen to IMAP and POP3 connections on port 587 using client front end receive connector. Next is client proxy. As I told you before, exchange never allowed clients to communicate with the backend services directly. It accepts connections from client only in the front end transport service. Then it proxy this connection to transport service. This receive connector is from transport service which listen for the proxied connection from front end transport service for IMAP and POP3 clients. Next is the default front end. This receive connector listen for external email in front end transport service. It receive external SMTP messages and then forwarded into transport service via default connector. Default connector is the one which receive the proxy connection from front end transport service and forward this into mailbox transport service. It also accept emails from mailbox transport service and send through send connector or proxy through front end transport service for external sending emails. Next is outbound proxy front end. If you have checked to send the emails through client access in your send connector, in this case the front end service will listen for the SMTP connection on port 717 with this receive connector. So now we go through all the receive connectors in exchange server. Now let us see a demo on how to configure a receive connector in exchange server. Open exchange admin center. Log into your exchange uh, 
admin center once you uh, log into exchange admin center click mail flow then select receive connectors here you will see the default receive connectors that uh, created once you installed exchange server you can check the security and the scopings uh, you will see what we uh, explained in the slides here default front end uh, this is the connector which uh, accept test channel smtp connections uh, which listen on port 25 here you see it uh, is listening to all the network adapters in the server instead of uh, listening to all you can restrict this to a particular adapter by editing this uh, to uh, the specific adapter ip address And uh, from the permission group, you will see this is anonymous is checked in for this uh, receive connector. Only this receive connector is uh, in, uh, an enabled for anonymous users because this is the only connector which listen for S channel users uh, for SMTP connections. Now let us see how to create a receive connector in exchange. Click add button, select front end, name your receive connector. here network adapter binding you can specify if you have a isolated network for internet and internal connections in my case i have only one network adapter so i just select the default one this is the place where you can specify the source of uh, IP, source ip address of incoming connections so i just add ip address Now, in this case, this receive connector will listen to only this particular IP address. If you want to give a range of IP address, you can give that also. Once you finish this, just edit. Then you will see a security settings here. And from here, you need to click anonymous. And you can select uh, authentication type as you require. So that is all about receive connectors. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe my YouTube channel or visit my blog niasitpro.com.